Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. The helicopters are flying today, so I hope you can hear me. Really need to practice with my new mics, but we are planting lilies. I might have to do a voiceover. So I went to the store the other day to pick up something completely not garden related and all of their bulbs were 50% off because it is getting really late in the season to plant bulbs. It's literally December 12th today, but here in zone 8B, <laughs> almost to Florida, it's still pretty darn warm. We haven't been freezing, we haven't been frosting, and we're not supposed to for another week to two weeks. So lily bulbs of course are perennials they will come back they will multiply they will keep going as opposed to they had paper whites and hyacinths which it is a little late for those and will not come back in our zone so i figured lilies are best if you plant them in the fall even though they will come up if you plant them in the spring so i grabbed two the two bags that i liked and we pop them in the ground and they will come up next year they may not be great next year, but they will be even better the year after that and the year after that. So might as well get them, get them in the ground. So if you followed my video last year where I made this entire garden bed, I did plant some stargazer tiger lilies right behind this crepe myrtle. They are same specs. So they get 30 to 48 inches high and about four to six inches wide. So they kind of grow per bulb and one stalk. Each stalk can have multiple flowers and they get really tall if they have a full growing season. So I planted mine in the spring last year. They did come up, they did grow, they did bloom. I will try to put some pictures here um, of how they looked. They were very pretty. But because I planted them in the spring and not the fall and because it was their first year, they didn't reach their full height. And I think I planted two bags of those with about 10 in each bag. Not all of them came up. I would say three fourths of them came up, but again, lilies multiply. So I'm going to actually go ahead and plant these intermixed with the Stargazer Tiger Lilies because they're very similar colors. So those are pink and white with orange pollen, and these are pink and purple with orange pollen. So I'm gonna bring you all closer and I will show you how plant these. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So I planted lilies on this side here where these sticks are coming up and back here. I will bring you in closer, but I'm going to go ahead and plant some of these like in between those. So before we do that, here's a look at the bag. So it says these are purple dream. There are seven plants in here. And if we follow the instructions, they need full sun to partial shade. Lilies really like sun. They want to be planted four to six inches apart and four to six inches deep. They can be hardy down to 20 degrees, 30 degrees, and they like to be planted just below the soil line. So there is a kind of measurer on the side, but honestly, I just use my drill bit. It's about my auger. It's about four to six inches deep. I just drill a hole and pop in the bulbs. Dun, dun, dun. Very, very exciting here. Dig, bulb, water. So when we open this, let's take a look at the bulbs. They are, they're definitely on the struggle bus here, but they don't look bad. So here's the bulbs and you can see they have a pointy top and roots coming out the bottom. Since I planted my other ones in the spring, they were really good. They even had shoots coming out the top. But all of these do look pretty good. And we're going to plant three or four to a spot instead of one individual spot. So hopefully at least one of them will grow in each space. Let's, let's start it right here. So here is one lily plant and you can see one, two, three shoots came up. I had three bulbs in this spot. And then here is another one. I had three bulbs here 
but only two came up. So I'm going to go right here and we'll plant three of them. planted a third set of lily bulbs up here, but as far as I can tell, they never grew. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second set right here. wear tennis shoes while I'm doing this, but you know. So we're going to plant these root side down, pointy side up. And we'll cover them over with dirt. One of the areas where I'm going to put a lot of foxglove. Foxglove come up in the spring. Lilies come up in the summer. So we will interplant all these lilies with foxgloves so that it has free plants all the time. Where is this from? Okay. I must have had lilies planted there. Didn't come up. They have roots, so. You play. Okay, so here's a close-up of what the old lily spots look like when I cut them back this year. I did, you can see, um, put stakes in here last year for this set and for this set. And that's the only ones I remember to do. So I'm fairly sure that that is when I found lily bulbs. So we've got a spot here, got a set here, and we've got a set here. So that's pretty well spread out. 
And then like this is a foxglove. Up here we've got a foxglove. And we've got one, two, three Veronica. So in all of these other spots right here, where we've got bare space, we will fill in with foxglove next spring when it is time. And then we will have a whole bunch of foxglove and lilies to fill this spot in the spring and the summer. But for now, we're gonna go to the other side of the tree where I planted the rest of the stargazer lilies. All right, so you can see here we have one lily that grew. This is where my second group of lilies over here was. And then I found, I had one bulb that I planted by itself that didn't come up. Found it when I dug this hole, which makes sense, that's a triangle. And then I planted these. So you can see they just go right in the hole, four to six inches deep, roots down, tops up, and then just cover them back over, preferably with more dirt than leaves, but you know, is what it is. There we go. Planted some puppies here last year that never came up. Put some puppies in my little milk jugs this year. They seem to be doing much better, so maybe next spring we'll have puppies. Now, mark the spots so that we don't have any issues, like forgetting where I planted them. And we're all set. We'll water them in, and then hopefully next summer we will have purple lilies. All right, I know this was a quick and easy project. I almost didn't film it, but when I planted the stargazer lilies last spring, it was in the middle of that other video. So I never did a specific lily video. And when I saw these 50% off, so I got 14 of them for $12, just couldn't pass it up. So let's cross our fingers. Hope we get some lilies next year. But so far, I mean, the stargazer lilies came up with only a couple months in the ground, no cold time, no winter to grow. So I think we'll probably get a few of these to work. And as long as we have a few, they'll multiply and we'll get more. So yay. Bye y'all. See you in the next one.